Good morning. It is Wednesday. It is the most beautiful sunny day and Lou and I are off to Dorset this morning. Um, we're going for a couple of days. ASOS have very kindly invited us to stay in a gorgeous hotel in Dorset for the night tonight. We're going to spend the day there today and then spend the day there tomorrow and come back tomorrow evening. Um, so we are all packed and ready to go and we're just waiting for a hire car to arrive because ASOS have also sent a car for us to drive which is very exciting. I don't know I don't know what we're going to be driving there, but we're, I'm actually really looking forward to a road trip. Um, so we, I'll show you what I'm wearing. I, we, as you can probably guess, it is from ASOS. They let both Lou and I choose some outfits for the trip. Um, so I picked this gorgeous dress to travel in because I have been eyeing this dress up for ages and it sold out ages ago. Um, and then I saw that it came back in stock, so I whipped it up. I thought it was so lovely. It's kind of like a crinkly fabric, gorgeous fabric, um, and it's just very nice and flowy and comfortable, so perfect for traveling in. And then I have got these sandals on, which are also from ASOS. They're also new. They're kind of like, sort of like a crisscrossy style leather black sandal, um, and again, very comfortable. So yeah, like I said, we're just waiting for the car to arrive and then we're gonna get going. We've got our bags packed waiting by the door and we're very eager to get on the road. <laughs> Great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around. So we're just on our way there now. We are going to stay in a lovely hotel for the night called The Pig on the Beach. It's a gorgeous day, so we're kind of hoping that as soon as we get there, we're going to kind of straight down the beach. Straight down to the beach. There'll be another pig on the beach. <laughs> so, me or you? <laughs> <laughs> mention no names um, oh. um but we have got the coolest car like asos sent a they sent me a um <laughs> we are driving a jeep what is it what's it called uh red car a red jeep a massive red jeep um they said that they were sending a hire car for us to drive and we thought oh, okay lovely um and then this little beast turned up, little. didn't it? No, I don't know why I said this little beast. This beast turned up um, and it's so cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've been cruising around catching some eyes. It's literally the most, like... Race car red. Yeah, I'll show it to you in a minute once we get there. Just got to the hotel, um, but check-in isn't till four. So we are just gonna leave our stuff in, our car, leave our stuff in the car um, and then head down to the beach because I can see it from here. I literally, I, I, don't, I don't think you can see, but literally it's just, just down there. So we're going to grab our bags and walk down to the beach, aren't we? Perfect. In fact, I'll show you the car that we've driven here. This is the beast. <laughs> we've had some looks on the way, but honestly, how cool is that? Was it nice to drive? Lou drove, yeah, by the way. Superb. It's like proper, it's like a proper attention car, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Like, <laughs> not subtle at all, is it? No, um, but yeah, that's what we drove. <laughs> So we've just come down to the beach and it is gorgeous down here but it's pretty busy there. Like everyone's staying at least two meters apart but it is super busy. Yeah like over two meters apart. But it is it's normal. still that's it's still like like I said to you, it's, it's not you don't come down and be like, oh everyone's apart because of COVID. It's just the normal No, it seems beach. like yeah, like a normal busy beach on like a sunny day. Um and the sand is so lovely and soft. Like it's so so nice. You know, I just thought you looked really cute. I always look cute. <laughs> <laughs> your, ham, your hair's all sandy. Yeah, it's beach. We've just checked into our hotel room and it is beautiful. Oh, <laughs> make yourself at home already. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Look at the bed. And I think the bathroom. Oh my goodness, Lou, the bathroom is almost as big as the bedroom. No, it's huge. 
Wow. Well, I'm glad he has a sofa in there. <laughs> sofa. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. If it wasn't so hot, then I would, I would want to have a bath in front of those windows. Yeah, nice. Look how gorgeous it is out there as well. I think that's where we're going to go and sit outside in a minute and have a drink. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> You've spotted something. <laughs> uh, it's very rarely it says my name on it. <laughs> what does it say? Charlotte and Lewis, just a few face and body treats, all available at ASOS.com that we hope will help you have a relaxing and safe staycation with love, ASOS. Best in my one's the chilli one. Well, are you joking? I'm joking. <laughs> And then this over here, dear Charlotte and Lewis, welcome to the pig on the beach. We hope you have a lovely stay with us from the pig team. Oh, should we have a glass of that in a minute? Yeah. Little bottle of Prosecco. What have you got? Christmas come early. They must have known that my birthday got, got cancelled. Face wash, loads of stuff in here. Packed it right in. Handy little bag actually, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, that's nice packaging, actually. That'd be nice for you to have in our bathroom at home. Nice. I'm going to have a look at it, look in my one. Mine looks jam packed. Hang on, let me just. Oh, it's well and truly knotted up. Yeah, you could actually. Oh, that's Oh, amazing. Loads of stuff. Got some pillow mist. We ain't gonna leave the room. Pillow mist. This is amazing, this. We can use this. Spritzes on our pillows. So, I didn't realise the size of the bed. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? I have to get a cab to see you in the morning. <laughs> one each. Which one do you want? Do you want the one with the daisy on it? Or the one with the moon and the stars on it? I'm, I'm, I'm easy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, lots of nice bits. We've got, we have got a face mask stick, a multi-purpose soothing balm, a Lano Lips super balm, Whoa. a coconut and fig hair mask. This is, oh, some gel eye pads. Maybe we could put some of these on as well later. Um, and a setting spray, which I need right now because I feel like my makeup has slid off my face. <laughs> <laughs> We've just popped open the bottle of Prosecco, well, basically immediately as soon as we came in the room. And um, yeah, starts with Moon to go on. Cheers. Cheers! This camera is not doing the lighting in here justice because it is actually so bright in here. But it is just the most beautiful bathroom. Every time I point at the window, it goes dark, so it's really not doing it justice, but it's so gorgeous. I put a picture up, I took a picture on my Instagram, and it looked beautiful. Um, but yeah, it's so gorgeous. Pardon? Well, it is beautiful, but it looked beautiful in that picture as well, but it's not on this camera. His and her sinks. Which one are you having? One with a key. Oh, to lock your... Yep, yeah, look, I know. I don't know what you're like, you'll go through rummaging through my things. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, what I do all the time, <laughs> trying to catch you out. <laughs> so good. So, we're going to spruce up quickly and then go and sit downstairs. I don't know where. Down there. Down there. there. Look at the view. So, we're going to go and sit out there and have a drink, but then if you just look behind there, you can see the beach. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Oh look, they've just finished something. What have they had? Looks like she's had a little bit of beetroot. Bit of a beetroot and rocket salad. Oh gosh, they're gonna catch me nosing. <laughs> you literally looked up. You, you're just leaving that tap running then, mate, are you? I am just getting my Nerd of London King face wash. <laughs> <laughs> are you actually gonna use it straight away? Just been at the beach. No, I know, but I didn't think you needed to wash your face just to go down. Well, you thought wrong. 
Anyway, I'll stop filming you washing your face. <laughs> I've got a little cordially face mist in my goodie bag. So I am going to. Oh. Refresh my makeup. It needs it after a day at the beach. I didn't put loads on, but you know when it kind of goes a bit dry. Um, oh, that feels wonderful. Does it make it look more glowy? I think it does. Does my skin look glowy, Lou? Core. Core, you. I'm what glowing. I'm doing? in the sun, aren't I? What have you been doing? I'm in the sun, Some new wax. I mean, my skin has actually got sand on it. I can feel grains of sand, but that has like, that has refreshed me. I mean, oh, I'm literally hair, gonna just... use the whole. Oh, look at you. You devilishly handsome young bit, man. Water on Aren't you the most messy person ever? Literally yeah. this morning before we left the house, Lou put his new outfit on for traveling in and cleaned his teeth, got toothpaste down his t-shirt and down his shorts. I walked in on him blow drying his t-shirt. <laughs> and then the next thing I knew is blow drying his shirt, his shorts as well. The, um, only, the only problem with me, that is, that's it. Everything yeah, else, apart from that, he is perfect. Everything else is fine. Um, but yeah, do you know what? That could not have been a better thing in that goodie bag than a face glow, uh, than a face mist, because that has actually freshened up, that's freshened me up no end. I'm ready to go. That's all I needed, mate. Look at me, I'm glowing. Well. Look at me. Look at me. What about me? Yeah, and you look. Can we come up and get changed? We are going to get changed before dinner, though, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to go down for a pie, aren't we? Yeah. Right, we are going to. Finish our. our finish our Prosecco. Cheers again. Obviously finishing it quite quickly. It's a nice Prosecco actually, isn't it? Very nice. And then we're going to go and sit outside in that little downstairs area and have a drink. Um, and then we'll come back up and get changed and freshened up for dinner later. Oh, actually that's really nice. That's really nice. That's really nice. I just put a little bit of that Dr. Pawpaw um, multi-purpose, multi-purpose soothing balm, this, on my lips, and then like I dabbed a little bit on my cheeks. And it's so nice. I didn't expect it to be, because when I first squeezed it out, it looked a little bit like, kind of looks a bit weird when it comes out. It looks a little bit coral. Um, but on, it looks really lovely, and like, just gives a nice flush of color. I like that. <laughs> um, we are just going down for, oh you're off already. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, we're just going down for an evening, well, a late afternoon drink and then we're going to come back. I think I did just say, but then we're going to come back up to our room before dinner. Um, but I have, we've both still got on our outfits we had on this morning actually. Yeah. I've got on this dress still, which is so comfortable. Do you like it? Yeah, I think it's nice. Do you actually? Yeah, I do. Um, and then I've got this bag which is also from ASOS and then I've popped my Birkenstocks on as well which actually are also from ASOS but I've had these for ages. We just wolfed down a, a glass of Prosecco and I think we're going to go and have a cocktail. Come on. Come on then. Let's go. This is the view from where we're sitting having a drink. How gorgeous is that? Like over here you can see the white cliffs. It just looks so beautiful and then that's Lou sitting over there on his little deck chair. I think it was me. I think it was me. I think it was me. me, 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 me. What are you singing? Who made the who made the kitchen? <laughs> Lou was singing. Who made the kitchen so pretty? I think it. But right, basically, so I'm not explaining this very well. I just caught Louis. I said to him, "What are you watching?" He said, "Just your YouTube video." <laughs> Right, I'm skipping through it. He's skipping through it. Skipping through it. On mute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's that's, watching or that's not. a supportive boyfriend who sk <laughs> skips through your video on what mute. What's that? Where did you get that jacket from? Your old Gigi granddad. <laughs> <laughs> you your granddad's 
Yeah, that one <laughs> skipped past me. I'm sure I saw him in, wearing that at Christmas. Do you not like it? I do not like it. Honestly, is, that, is this like, what's this called? Is this a hall or a wind-up hall? Not a fan? No I thought it was really nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I, li I literally just caught him and he was singing to himself and was like Who made that kitchen so pretty? It was me, it was me, it was me, it was me <laughs> We've just come back up to the room and I have just had a shower In fact I've just realised I look like I'm naked I'm not, I've got a towel on. Um, but yeah, just had a shower and I washed my face but I didn't take my mascara off just because I was being lazy and I thought, I wanna freshen up my skin because it was really sandy but I can't bother to redo my mascara. Um, but I also popped these eye patches on. These are the, they are called Florent, oh gosh, me towel's fallen down. <laughs> um, they are called Florence by Mills and I think it's, Millie from Stranger Things. I can't think of what her surname is. Um, but yeah, it's her brand, I think. Um, so I've just popped these on because I thought it would just freshen my skin up a little bit. And then I'm going to quickly just put a bit of foundation and bronzer on. Um, pop, probably pop my hair in a ponytail to be quick. And then I've got a couple of outfit options. So I will show you my different out outfit options and then pick something to wear down to dinner. I think we're booked in for eight, so... Yeah, these feel really nice as well, and I just realised they are the shape of a whale. Would you like an eye patch, babe? Hey? Would you like an eye patch? What is it, Byron, I'd say? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Would you like an eye patch? Do you want some more? You don't need any eye zhuzhing. I don't know. Your eyes look pretty damn good. Oh, it's a lovely shower, isn't it? Mm. Really oh, blooming yeah, lovely. That's, that, that's them. Yeah, they're literally just um, little things, and you just pop them, pop them on your eyes, and they <laughs> tense, tense. <laughs> um, yeah, you just put them under, and they just sort of moisturise it. Would you like me to do it for you? Because you, I think you've got about three there. I one. I can see them, they're all layered on top. All right, all right. The <laughs> way around. Well, I don't know. I did it with the whale pointing outwards. Yeah, yeah, I did that. Oh, that went in, that went in. <laughs> <laughs> You'll lose all the moisture from it. Yeah, but I'll lose my sight if I won't. Are you joking? Why are you pointing your head back as if you're putting a contact lens just, in? And then that bit's hanging down, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but just put it... I can then not... What's wrong with you? Just... Psst. Have a look. Absolutely beautiful. Hopefully it will look 18 by the end of this. The included spatula for gently scoop a whale gel pad out. Where's that then? Oh, that's um, on the lid. I reckon about five minutes. I think just take them off and then pat the excess into your under eye area. Just taking my little whales off and um, feels nice. They feel a little bit fresher. They look fresher. You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive. I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold. Said we loved one another. So I've just finished my makeup. I did a really speedy evening look. Um, and actually, I'm gonna set it with the all-nighter spray. Hang on. 
I'm literally gonna set my makeup with the all nighter spray. This came in my little goodie bag and I've never used this before, but I've heard really good things about it. So. That's probably too much, isn't it? Oh well, at least I'll be in place all night. I've had a really quick getting ready to go down for dinner, um, which is why I've popped my hair up in a low ponytail just because it was really quick. <laughs> um, and then I've got this dress on from ASOS. It is backless, such a gorgeous dress, like a satin midi dress, backless. And then I have also got on these little shoes from ASOS. These have got a really tiny little heel, which is why I thought they would be perfect because it kind of gives the appearance of that you're wearing a heel, but with a very little heel and with loose, slightly shorter frame. <laughs> Come and stand next to me and we can see. See, that is perfect. I don't know what your problem is. No, there's no problem, but if I was wearing a higher heel, it would I'd just feel a little bit too tall for you. I'm five foot six. <laughs> I'm five foot six and a half. No, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> no, you're taller than that. <laughs> oh, also, your outfit, you do look gorgeous. Always. Let me stand back and show Lou's outfit. Lou looks so handsome. Um, your whole outfit is from ASOS and it is all new. Down to the pants as well. Down to the pants and I was going to say in the socks, we've not got fit, socks on. Good fit, the pants. Actually. Are they? Lovely. Yeah. Um, Lovely. Honest, uh, if I could you, have done with a little bit of an iron, but unfortunately... It could have done. But you do look iron. so gorgeous. Stand back, stand back. Yeah. So Lou's got on a nice little linen shirt some lovely smart chinos and then these blue shoes i really like those on you they look really nice you look devilishly handsome should we go for dinner we are so so hungry um yeah and all oh, and jewelry wise i've just popped on these earrings these are from my jewelry and so are all my necklaces <laughs> and i do think i just need to tighten this strap up because I haven't done it up at the back properly um but yeah that is my outfit I've just done the dress up properly at the back I tightened it up a little bit so it sits a little bit higher and I think it looks nicer like that um and it sits a little bit higher at the back as well but I think the shape of it is really lovely it's a perfect length as well we are going to go and get some food because we are both absolutely Hank Marvin we just went down to get dinner and we were a bit early so we have found ourselves back in the seats that we were in before dinner. Um, so we're just about to order some drinks and wait for, wait for dinner. The sun is literally just setting in the distance and it just looks so beautiful. Huh? We've just got our starters. I have got the crab risotto balls. And Lou has got the ham hock with a rocket salad. These are our mains. I have got a whole place with salad. <laughs> when you order, it's like you want the whole place, and I'm thinking, <laughs> yeah, I'd like the hotel. <laughs> I have got the whole place on my plate. <laughs> I, I have got, I've got the whole, I've got a place, and Lou has got steak, and then we've got chips and salad to kind of share. Well, technically the chips are, technically the chips are Lou's, and the salad's mine, but we're, we're, we're kind of, kind of share, kind of, kind of. Kind of. Let's see how we get on. Let's see how we get on. <laughs> we have just got back to the room and we have got straight into bed. And it's not even 11 o'clock yet, but we just wiped out. Um, but dinner was lovely. We had a really nice meal. Um, did you enjoy your food, mate? Oh, yeah, it was really nice. We had, good, had some good food, had a couple of drinks, and now we are back in bed. And I've got the worst spot here good night good night good morning it is about nine o'clock and we have had a very chilled morning we had a bit of a lay-in i had a coffee in bed which was lovely and it was the most comfortable bed 
honestly it's made me want like a super king bed because it was so nice to just have loads of space. Did you quite like the fact that we had extra space Lou? Yeah. No like flailing in, in <laughs> no flailing into each other um but yeah we're just about to go down for breakfast we are both very hungry i did book breakfast at half eight when we checked in yesterday but then i rang up this morning and was like can i change it for half nine <laughs> um but i have just popped on this gorgeous dress which is of course from asos in fact if you watched my i did like a asos dresses video about a month or so ago and the first dress in that video was like it's Exactly the same as this dress, but it was white with blue flowers on. Um, so, so pretty. And so I saw they had it in mustard as well. And so I ordered it for this trip in the mustard. And it's just the most floaty, flowy, lightweight dress. It's lovely. I've got on the same black sliders on, like little black, little black slip-ons. Um, and then my little basket bag as well, all from ASOS. Um, I will leave all of the outfits that I kind of chat about throughout this video they'll they will, they will be in the description box so if you do see anything that you like then it will be linked down there um and yeah i've given my hair a little wave this morning as well a little wave <laughs> We've just had the biggest breakfast. I'm absolutely stuffed. Um, we had like, the like, first of all they brought out croissants and toast with jam and butter, which was beautiful. And then I had smashed avocado on sourdough bread with poached egg as like my main course. Um, and then you could order like little bits off the sort of breakfast, like, like buffet menu. I guess normally there's probably a buffet table out. Um, but obviously at the moment things are a bit different so you could order like little bits and I ordered a bowl of strawberries with honey which was amazing um, and then a green smoothie and some fresh orange juice I had a coffee, almond milk oh I had some lovely bits and bobs <laughs> um, but I am yeah, so so full so Lou's just having a quick shower before we check out just because he didn't get a chance to have one before breakfast this morning um, and then we, I think we're gonna go for a walk because it's a beautiful day like when we checked the weather It wasn't supposed to be nice today um, But it is gorgeous out there. So I think we're gonna go for a little walk and kind of do a bit of exploring and Then yeah might head down to the beach this afternoon. Who knows? We have literally just been for a walk around. We've driven up to sort of, I don't know, help me out. Where have Swanage. we driven to? I think it's Swanage. Like sort of the peak of yeah, uh... the edge of the cliffs and we've walked all the way around. Um, and it was quite steep, wasn't it? I'll insert, if I haven't already inserted it, then I'll insert, insert it now, like some clips of it. But it's beautiful up there. Um, but I'm out of breath. We were really, I mean, it was steep, wasn't it? Oh yeah uphill and downhill it was really steep but um literally just as we walked back into the car park it's the heavens have opened and it started raining it was spitting a little bit as we were walking around but we made it back to the car in perfect timing um but yeah it's lovely really really nice views like the caves that were amazing weren't they yeah yeah they were <laughs> yeah. um and now where should we go now back to well, i don't know because if, if, if the rain clears the clears the sky it's going to be a nice day again isn't it so should we sit in the car for a bit and wait I'll go for a little drive should we? go for a little cruise around um we thought we might as well we were we, we were going to sort of well i don't know we're going to sort of make spend the day here before we head home basically but a lot of a lot of what we do a lot of what we could do is weather dependent is what i'm trying to say isn't it yeah so like we couldn't get out to the beach now obviously we can't but... really go into places can we <sighs> We've just come back to the pig on the beach for some lunch and we have ordered a kind of like stone baked pizza flatbread to share um you can dig in don't worry lou's waiting patiently for me to film before he can tuck in <laughs> Is that 
We've just driven back home, well we're nearly home, but we have decided that we are going to go and pick up my niece and nephew. Well my nephew, I don't know about my niece, she might not be at home. But we're going to pick them up and go for like a little cruise because the car is so cool. We thought they'd love to come for a little drive up to Goodwood, which is nearest to where we live. Um, and yeah, it's a nice evening as well. We've got a little bit of evening sun back here. So we're going to go and pick them up and go cruising, aren't we? It was your yeah. idea. Yeah. So that would be nice. It's kind of like a cool car when you're Tommy's eight. So for him, it would be like quite exciting coming here, won't it? Yeah, especially with the roof. Yeah. The roof comes off. Gonna close my eyes and pretend that I'm not here All these empty faces talking about problems I don't care I can't wait till sundown cause my body's aching I just wanna dance, I just wanna dance Don't you wanna party? Standing in the crowd feeling heartbeat Everybody's carefree, everybody's carefree Don't you wanna party? Good morning. It is a good few days later now. It's actually Tuesday today, so this video will be going up tomorrow. Um, so I just wanted to kind of finish it off, really. There was a few things, like I edited this video yesterday, and there were a few things I mentioned that I didn't show you. Um, so like in the evening, I mentioned that I'd ordered two evening outfits, and then I just chucked the black dress on and went down for dinner. We gave ourselves about half an hour to get ready for dinner, which clearly wasn't enough time um, but I thought I would just show you the other outfit that I did order and try that on um, and I also ordered a swimsuit and like a caftan for the following day because we were going to go to the beach but again the weather was not having any of it so we didn't go to the beach so I didn't end up wearing that so I thought I would what's that noise the bloody fly in here I think um, so I thought I would quickly show you that as well because the caftan is gorgeous and there's also this beautiful skirt that I ordered that doesn't fit me but I will still show it to you because it is so so pretty um, and also this package just arrived this morning from ASOS I don't know what's in there but I thought I would open it now quickly because well because it's from ASOS and it kind of fitted into this video. By the way, this dress that I've got on is the one that I was talking about. It's the same as the mustard one, but this is the white one with the blue flowers over it. And it is so, so pretty. I think it's probably sold out, but if it is available, I'll pop it in the description box. But I've got a feeling, I've got a feeling it's probably sold out. But you never know, there might be some returns. Oh, it is a bag full of MAC makeup. It's a MAC collaboration with Tayana Taylor. So it's all, all the packaging is neon. One of the most versatile entertainers of her generation, an R&B superstar, dancer, choreographer, actress, model, mother, fitness, aficionado, songwriter, producer, director, blimey, she is a woman of many talents. <laughs> um, Unstoppable force, Tayana Taylor channels her creativity, strength, and sense of purpose into spring 2020's most hotly anticipated makeup launch. Wow. So, there is. So it's like four. Oh, so I'm guessing that these have fallen out. So there's a few loose. So I'm guessing it's supposed to be like a different colour in each box. Sorry, that's the door. Two seconds. Sorry, there was another, another delivery. Oh, that delivery man was so cute. He was like, your place is looking beautiful, even though from the outside, it still looks very far off done. We're waiting. Basically, we had the front rendered and then the render cracked. So Lou had to, on one section, so Lou had to chip it off and we're waiting to have it re-rendered, which is a nightmare because until that's done, we can't put the cladding up in the middle. Anyway, I'm completely, completely digressing. Where was I? <laughs> this is far more exciting makeup. Um, but yeah, he was really, really cute. 
Oh, that is gorgeous. The first thing I've literally opened is a lip gloss, but it's like a real sort of nudey, shimmery lip gloss. I used to use MAC lip glosses all the time. Oh, that also looks lovely. How gorgeous is that? It's like a really sort of dark, nudey colour. It's called Good Morning. Good Morning. It's a matte lipstick. I will swatch it as well. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's like a really lovely nude. How nice is that? Good Morning. That would look gorgeous with that over the top as well. This is a hodgepodge lip liner. So that's kind of like a brown sort of lip liner. Can you see that? Another lipstick. Okay, that's definitely not to my colouring. I would not wear that. But I'm sure some people would absolutely love it. It's like a purpley sort of shimmery colour. Um, and that is called Junie B. And again, that's for layering over the top of that. It's sort of like a shimmery purple. And then this is a lip pencil. So it's more like a, yeah, it's a more like a purpley lip pencil as well. So I guess there for being like layered, worn together. And then we have got the green section, which is, oh, that's nice. So again, it's like a lip gloss, but it's more like a, kind of bronzy sort of colour, which it looks quite dark in the packaging, but I reckon it wouldn't be. Yeah, it's not actually, can you see it's like the top one. It's not actually that dark when it's off. It looks like it's quite a nice sort of sheeny, shimmery colour. Not my usual sort of go-to, but it does look nice. Um, and then this must be the lipstick that goes with that. Yes, it is. So it's kind of like a darker nude colour. Is that focusing? Um, more like a browny kind of nude, but again, really nice. And that is called I Got A Man. I Got A Man. Should I swatch that as well? That's like the top one. So you can see it's kind of more brown, more brown than the other one. That's the lip line to go with that. Again, the top one. I, sorry, I'm not showing that one there kind of like a dark brown lip liner and it is called chestnut and then in the pink section oh so it's like a bright red kind of like actually I say bright it's quite dark it's looking bright on camera but actually it's quite a dark red I'll swatch it on my hand so you can see oh that's nice like a classic kind of red again I think it's looking slightly brighter on camera but it is quite a dark red and this one is called A Rose in Harlem and I'm guessing the lip liner is a matching one. No, the lip liner is really, really dark. It's called Night Moth. I'm guessing some of these are probably su more suited to darker, like for black skin tones. Obviously on her, you can kind of see that where she's got the red on, she's sort of layered it actually looks gorgeous. She's got like a really dark line and then the red lipstick and then obviously the gloss on top. Um, it does look, I mean, it would look ridiculous on me, but it looks absolutely gorgeous on her. Um, and then I'm guessing that this is the gloss. Yes, yeah, so it's a beautiful dark red gloss. Oh, quickly swatch that so you can see that as well. Oh, that's lovely. It's kind of like a dark sort of cherry red gloss. And then the final thing is a mineralized skin finish powder i'm hoping this is the one in the picture oh that is gorgeous it's like a really lovely light highlighter i used to use mineralized skin finish powder all the time about years ago now it used to be like my favorite highlighter I just swatch it on the back of my hand Oh, that's lovely. It's like a really nice sort of subtle highlighter. Thank you very much, ASOS. And I know that not all of them I will probably end up using, but that nude lipstick I started with is gorgeous. And a few of the other bits as well, I will definitely use. Um, yeah, love that. Really, really like that lipstick. Okay, so this was my second evening outfit option. By the way, I have just popped on 
the orange trio of lipsticks. It's like the lipstick, lip liner, and the lip gloss over the top. I'm not sure about the lip liner. It is quite brown. I did try and blend it in a little bit, but I feel like it looks a little bit 90s on me. But I love the lipstick and the lip gloss as well. Um, so I would probably just pop them on with my normal, like, nudie coloured lip liner <laughs> just to play it safe um anyway so this is the other option i ordered for the evening this blazer is obviously it's all from asos um so this is just a simple white blazer i just think you can't go wrong with a nice smart white blazer um and i would probably style it done up because i quite like the tailored shape of it and then on my legs i have styled it with these jeans if i just undo the blazer so you can see the shape of them a little bit better. These are, I'm not sure if they're the Farley jeans or not actually, I'll leave them linked below, but they are such a good shape. They are really fitted, they fit really well on the waist and on the bottom, and um, they've got a little bit of stretch in them, but they still have that rigid look to them, so they've kind of got a bit of stretch, they're really comfortable, but they look quite, yeah, they still look like a proper denim jean. And then on my feet, I've got the same black heels that I ended up wearing with the black dress. These are a little bit big for me actually, I don't know if you can tell from the side, but they are slightly too big. I went for a size five, um, and I'm normally a four and a half, so I would say if you're a half size, then maybe size down in these ones. Um, but yeah, that was the second option that I packed as an evening outfit, if the weather wasn't good, because I, don't, I didn't know what the weather was going to be like, so I thought if it was a little bit chillier, this would have been perfect. This is the skirt, and it is absolutely beautiful. I love the colour of it, I love the print of it, I love the shape of it, but... As you can probably tell, it is too small for me. I have just about managed to zip it up, but this bit is very much pulling over my hips. Um, and I don't know if you can also tell, but I've got a white body on and I've had to sort of roll the bottom of the body up because it was when I had the body done up underneath me, <laughs> underneath me, it was a little bit see-through. You could see the white line. So I would say that you definitely need to wear it with nude underwear and then like a white vest top rather than a, rather than a white body but the skirt is just gorgeous. The shape of it is lovely. It's kind of got this seam here, so it's really fitted up to here, and then it flows out into like a gorgeous skirt, and it's such a nice shape. Um, but I would definitely say, if you're in between sizes, then size up in this one, because there's no stretch in it at all. But uh, it's just so, so pretty. And it would look lovely with like a little white crop top as well. I'm hoping it's still available in the size eight, because I think I'm going to have to order it in the eight, because it is a beautiful skirt, absolutely blooming beautiful. And then the final outfit, and probably one of my favorite outfits, is this gorgeous beach look. Um, and I'm just obsessed with this caftan, it is so beautiful. It's kind of quite similar in colorings and similar-ish fabric to the skirt I showed you before. It's very lightweight and flowy, um, and it's just beautiful. The only thing is, again, I ordered this in I think a size six or an extra small and it's a little bit tight like I don't know if you can tell but around the shoulders it's a bit bit restrictive at the top so I do need to try and size up in this one although I've got a horrible feeling it will probably be sold out already obviously I'll leave it linked below if it is still available but I don't know I think this one is not going to stay around for long and then the swimsuit is that kind of crinkly super stretch fabric it is a one size fits all swimsuit which most of them in this fabric usually are um, and it has got a lot of stretch in it I wasn't sure about this V when I saw it online like this deep V but actually now I've got it on I don't mind it because it's not too it's not too low um, and then the back's quite low as well and yeah it's just a really nice simple white swimsuit very comfortable as well but I think I may try and get a picture of this at my local beach one day this week i think it's going to be really nice weather so hopefully i can get a good picture and i'm sure you will see it cropping up on my instagram very soon um but yeah i'm gonna finish the video here thank you so so much for watching please do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hopefully i will see you again in my next video bye